We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system now. The greatest secret in the history of space exploration has just been exposed by an encrypted data leak. The interstellar visitor, 3i slash ATLAS, is not what it seems. Data logs and telemetry confirm its tail is generating thrust acting as a massive silent propulsion engine. This object is actively navigating our solar system. Many people are crazy about finding that one piece of evidence that changes everything, and this is it. We're not just looking at a comet anymore. We are looking at something with intent, and as this reality sinks in, NASA remains quiet, their silence a heavy curtain over a truth that will redefine humanity's future. The numbers don't lie. You see, the thing nobody tells you about deep space tracking is that it's a science of prediction. Gravity is the ultimate rulebook. An object's path is calculated years in advance based on the gravitational pull of the sun and planets. But 3 IATLAS has been tearing up that rulebook. The leaked documents show its trajectory has been subtly but consistently deviating from the predicted path. These are not minor wobbles. These are course corrections. To put it mildly, the object is steering. It's a revelation so profound that many of the scientists in the leaked email chains refuse to believe it, even when faced with their own data. What many overlooked in the early days of its approach were the anomalies in its energy signature. A comet's tail is supposed to be cold, composed of ice particles sublimating into gas and reflecting sunlight. The leaked spectrographic analysis of 3 I Atlas's tail, however, shows something impossible. Traces of ionized xenon and argon, noble gases used in our most advanced ion thrusters. These elements are being heated to thousands of degrees and expelled at incredible speeds. The numbers don't lie. The files show a direct correlation between the spikes in these ion readings and the object's mysterious acceleration. An acceleration that has added over 15,000 miles per hour to its velocity in just a few months Imagine a mountain, miles wide, made of ice and rock, suddenly firing up an engine more advanced than anything on Earth. That is what we are witnessing. The data leak contains simulated models created by the very scientists who were studying it. In one simulation, they input all the known gravitational forces. The object's predicted path is a gentle curve, but when overlaid with its actual path, the divergence is undeniable. The object is fighting against gravity, making a beeline for a point in space that holds no gravitational significance. And you can see this everywhere in the files. A growing sense of panic and disbelief among the researchers. They had discovered something that shouldn't exist, and they had no idea what to do. This brings us to the most unsettling part of the story. While amateur astronomers and independent researchers are now frantically downloading and analyzing this leaked data, the official channels are dead silent. NASA, the agency with the Hubble and Webb telescopes at its disposal, the agency that is supposed to be our window to the universe, has said nothing. No press conference, no statement, not even a denial. Their silence is a wall, and behind that wall, the truth about 3I, A-T-L-A-S, is being hidden. This isn't just a failure to communicate, it's an act of concealment on a global scale. The silence itself is a message, and it is far from reassuring. The physics of the impossible. Is it possible that the universe itself builds starships? This is the question that the three IATLAS data leak forces us to confront. If this isn't alien technology, then we've stumbled upon a natural phenomenon so bizarre it might as well be. You see, the thing nobody tells you about our search for life is that we've been looking for something like us. We've been searching for radio signals and biological signatures. But what if the universe creates life, or at least complex systems, in forms we can't even recognize? What if a comet could evolve an engine? The propulsion system of 3i Atlas, detailed in the leaked files, seems to operate on principles of magnetohydrodynamics, the study of how magnetic fields can move fluids. The ionized gas in its tail is essentially a plasma, and the data suggests the object is generating a powerful magnetic field to shape and accelerate this plasma, creating thrust. The most shocking fact is that the object's core, 
estimated to be over three miles in diameter, shows a magnetic field strength thousands of times stronger than Jupiter's. This is a level of magnetic power that should be impossible for an object of its size and composition. It's like finding a refrigerator magnet that can bend steel beams from a mile away. This has led some researchers in the now public email chains to propose a new classification for 3I-A TLAS. It's not a comet, it's a magnetodynamic celestial object. The theory is that under certain extreme conditions, perhaps in the chaotic environment around a magnetar or a black hole, cosmic bodies can form with these incredible properties. They would be a kind of natural geological starship capable of traversing the galaxy for billions of years. To put it mildly, we might be looking at a new cosmic species, a life form made of rock, ice, and magnetic force. This discovery casts a new light on past mysteries. What many overlooked was the strange behavior of Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever detected. It, too, showed a slight acceleration that couldn't be explained by gravity. At the time, scientists settled on the idea of outgassing from hidden pockets of ice. But now, in the context of 3IATLAS, that explanation seems less likely. Could Oumuamua have been another, smaller example of the same phenomenon? Was it a scout? Or just another cosmic traveler on the same interstellar highway? And you can see this everywhere now, a pattern of anomalies that we are only just beginning to connect. The energy source for this incredible engine remains the biggest puzzle. For 3IATLAS, to generate such a powerful magnetic field and expel plasma for propulsion, it would need an internal furnace. The leaked data offers no clear answer, but it does contain speculation about zero-point energy or even a form of cold fusion occurring deep within the object's core. These are concepts at the very edge of theoretical physics, ideas that we are decades, if not centuries, away from mastering. If this object is a product of engineering, then it was built by a civilization that has a command of physics on a galactic scale, a civilization that can build mountains that fly. The silence from NASA becomes even more profound when you consider these possibilities. Information wants to be free. The decision to keep the truth about 3 IATLAS from the public was not made lightly. The encrypted data leak reveals not just scientific findings, but a frantic, high-level debate about what to do next. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that a discovery like this is not just a scientific event, it's a political one. It has the power to destabilize governments, crash economies, and upend religious beliefs. The silence from NASA is not born of ignorance, but of fear. What many overlooked is the chain of command. The leaked emails show that the findings were quickly escalated from the astronomical teams to their government liaisons. From there, the information went into a black box. The scientists were told to continue their observations but to share their findings only on secured, isolated networks. They were, in effect, placed under a gag order. The motive for such secrecy is a subject of intense debate. The most obvious reason is the prevention of global panic, the confirmation that we are not alone, or at least that the universe operates in ways we thought impossible, could be too much for the public to handle. Many people are crazy about the idea of an alien invasion, and perhaps the authorities feared that news of a propelled object would be misinterpreted as a threat. But there are other, more cynical possibilities. The most shocking fact could be related to technology. If 3 IATLAS's propulsion system can be understood, it could lead to a technological revolution on Earth. Free energy, faster than light travel, these are concepts that would shatter the existing global power structure, which is largely based on the control of finite resources like oil. To put it mildly, the powers that be may not want that kind of disruption. They may be trying to keep the technology for themselves, to weaponize it, or to control its release for their own benefit. And you can see this everywhere in history. Those in power rarely give it up willingly. The attempt to control the narrative, however, is already failing. The data leak has acted like a virus, spreading through the Internet's back channels and emerging into the mainstream. Citizen journalists, independent scientists, and hacktivist groups are all working to decrypt and disseminate the files. Every day, 
a new piece of the puzzle is revealed, a new graph is plotted, a new image is enhanced. The official silence from NASA only makes the leaked information seem more credible. In the absence of an official explanation, the public is left to draw its own conclusions, and those conclusions are often far more dramatic than the truth might be. This is the reality of the modern age. Information, once released, cannot be put back in the bottle. The story of 3i Atlas is now a global phenomenon, discussed in every language, on every continent. The pressure on governments to come clean is mounting. The silence cannot last forever. The world is watching and waiting. The longer NASA and other agencies remain quiet, the more they feed the narrative that they are hiding something of immense importance, something that every single person on this planet has a right to know. A new chapter in human history is being written, whether they want it to be or not. One final chance. The discovery of 3-I-A-T-L-A-S and the impossible engine that drives it was never meant for public knowledge. It began not as a triumphant announcement from a sterile mission control, but as a ghost in the machine, a cascade of encrypted data hemorrhaging from a secure server in the dead of night. For a few frantic hours, they tried to contain it to patch the breach, but it was too late. The data, a stream of impossible telemetry and spectral analysis, was already loose, multiplying across the dark corners of the web. What it revealed was more than a scientific anomaly. It was a fundamental break in the fabric of our reality. You see, the thing nobody tells you, the quiet truth that underpins our entire civilization, is that we have always been defined by our limits. The laws of physics were our cage, a vast and beautiful cage, but a cage nonetheless. We believed we were marooned on this fragile blue marble, adrift in a silent, empty corner of the galaxy. But the existence of a propelled object moving with a purpose and efficiency that mocks our most advanced theories tells us that interstellar travel isn't just a distant dream. It's a reality that has already been achieved. The leak didn't just show us a rock moving strangely. It showed us that the door to the universe has been unlocked for some time. We are no longer staring into an empty void. We are staring through an open doorway. And we have no idea what lies on the other side. What the initial data dumps failed to convey was the profound psychological schism this revelation would create. It has forced us to confront our own cosmic insignificance on a scale we never imagined. Yet it has simultaneously ignited a flare of incredible, terrifying hope. If an object like 3 slash I, a TLAS, can exist, what else is out there? What other physical laws have been bent or broken? What other forms of existence, unimaginable to us, are waiting in the darkness between the stars? This single illicit discovery is poised to unite humanity in a way no political movement or spiritual awakening ever could. It hands us a common purpose, a shared and terrifying destiny, to explore, to understand, and to find our true place in a universe that is suddenly, shockingly, crowded. Many people are obsessed with the future, but this discovery hasn't just given us a glimpse. It has shattered the very lens through which we viewed it. Imagine the moment we finally decode the physics of a TLAS's propulsion system. It isn't a matter of faster rockets. It's a matter of rewriting the rule book. We could build our own interstellar vessels, not lumbering generation ships, but sleek explorers capable of reaching other stars in a human lifetime. We could seed new worlds, guaranteeing the survival of our species against the silent threats of time and cosmic chance. We could finally, definitively, answer the one question that has haunted us since we first looked up. Are we alone? This is the dawn of humanity's next great leap, a metamorphosis as profound and irreversible as the one that first drew our ancestors out of the caves and into the firelight. And you can feel the shift everywhere in the frantic energy crackling beneath the surface of society. Scientists are working in a feverish, clandestine race to understand the physics of the impossible engine. Engineers are secretly sketching designs for probes that could one day chase down the anomaly. The public, more engaged with the cosmos than ever, is demanding answers, funding, and truth from institutions that have suddenly gone quiet. The deafening silence from the world's authorities cannot quell this momentum. In fact, it acts as an accelerant, confirming the suspicion that we are not being told the whole story. 
The age of passive observation is dead. The age of active, desperate exploration is upon us. The age of wondering is over. The age of knowing has begun. What is the true purpose of 3 IATLAS's journey? Like and subscribe, because we are just getting started.